Greetings, everybody. Chaplain Bob Walker here, Light of the World Ministries. Get out your King James Bible. Turn to Jeremiah chapter 47. And uh, this is a fairly short chapter. Now, remember, the Philistines were a tribe in the Canaanite family. Perhaps you've heard of Goliath. He was perhaps the most famous of the Philistines. Some of them, at least some of them, were giants, and they were noted for having six fingers and six toes. Well, according to some, Oprah Winfrey, Halle Berry, and Marilyn Monroe had six toes. Matter of fact, there's been a TV show on about the foot doctor or something. I don't remember what channel it's on. But uh, that doctor was uh, surgically removing six, a six toe on some people. I don't know how true it is. But uh, I actually worked with a girl that said she had six toes. I wonder. Hmm. So, Jeremiah 47, verse 1. The word of the Lord, the word of the Lord, that came to Jeremiah the prophet against the Philistines before that Pharaoh smote Gaza. Thus saith the Lord, Behold, waters rise up out of the north, and shall be an overflowing flood. You know, a flood of soldiers, right? And shall overflow the land and all that is therein, the city and them that dwell therein. Then the men shall cry, and all the inhabitants of the land shall howl. At the noise of the stamping of the hooves of his strong horses, at the rushing of his chariots, and at the rumbling of his wheels, the fathers shall not look back to their children for feebleness of hands. Because of the day that cometh to spoil all the Philistines, and to cut off from Tyrus and Zidon, every helper that remaineth. For the Lord will spoil the Philistines, the remnant of the country of Kaftor. Baldness is come upon Gaza. Ashkelon is cut off with the remnant of their valley. How long wilt thou cut thyself? Well, cutting themselves in a previous Jeremiah study, I mentioned where the prophets of Baal were cutting themselves and all the blood was gushing out. You know, you hear people cutting themselves. That's a satanic type thing. So how long wilt thou cut thyself? Verse 6. O thou sword of the Lord, how long will it be ere thou be quiet? Put up thyself into thy scabbard, rest, and be still. How can it be quiet? Seeing the Lord hath given it a charge against Ashkelon and against the seashore, there hath he appointed it. So Ashkelon is associated with uh, the Philistines. What are some other things that the Lord says about the Philistines? Well, How about Amos, the book of Amos, one of the minor prophets, minor in size, not minor in importance. Amos 1 and verse 8. And I will cut off the inhabitant from Ashdod, and him that holdeth the scepter from Ashkelon, and I will turn mine hand against Ekron, and the remnant of the Philistines shall perish, saith the Lord. And the remnant of the Philistines shall perish, saith the Lord. Doesn't sound like the Lord likes the Philistines very much. What do you say? Amos 9, 7. 
Are ye not as children of the Ethiopians unto me, O children of Israel? Saith the Lord, Have not I brought up Israel out of the land of Egypt, and the Philistines from Kaftor, and the Syrians from Kir? How about Zephaniah 2.5? Woe unto the inhabitants of the sea coast, the nation of the Cherethites. The word of the Lord is against you, O Canaan, O Canaan, the land of the Philistines. I will even destroy thee, that there shall be no inhabitant. Zechariah 9 6. And a bastard shall dwell in Ashdod. And I will cut off the pride of the Philistines. Funny, I did a Bible study on this, on a bastard. And everybody keeps saying, oh, it's not, it's not the child's fault that the mother doesn't, isn't married. No, it had nothing to do with that. The bastard kid was the one that married, who's, who's either the Israelite mother or the Israelite father married into the Canaanites. Uh, you know, it has nothing to do with being unmarried. It had everything to do with being married to Canaanites. And if you don't believe me, please turn to Ezra chapter 9. Matter of fact, when I get done with the Jeremiah series, I might just do Ezra or Nehemiah. But in Ezra 9... Ezra was extremely unhappy that the people had married into the Canaanites. And he told them to separate themselves from their wives and husbands and send their little bastard children with them. Harsh. Pretty harsh words. But Chaplain Bob, now that Jesus came, Jesus changes everything and now he loves them. Well, you can believe that if you want to, but I know better. So, all right. Well, all blessings, praise, glory, and honor to God the Father and His only begotten Son, Jesus, who is the Christ, the Lamb of God slain from the foundation of the world. All blessings, praise, glory, and honor in Jesus' name. Amen.